everyone. Today I wanted to film another custom order that I'm working on. Um, this one's actually a collage piece which I haven't gotten a request for in a while but these pieces are really really fun and um, I get to do a lot of brainstorming. And this collage piece is for Harry Styles Fine Line album which is such a great album. If you haven't listened to it you should definitely listen to it. I probably wouldn't have unless CB Nicks didn't recommend it and talk so highly of it. That's kind of what influenced me to listen to it um, because I wasn't really big into One Direction like I know a lot of people were. I finally took a shot on him and I really enjoy his music, his voice, his lyrics, and I just love his songs and this album in general. So I was so happy to get this request and basically the details I got for it was just the album and to do some sort of collage. She sent me a couple images of past collage pieces I've done. There's a Nirvana one that I can insert for you guys. So I tried to base it off of some criteria close to this. So I'll show you guys the process I do for collages and I hope you enjoy watching and let me know if you guys have any other questions. So, I don't always do this um, with my collage pieces, but for this particular one, I decided to paint in a little backdrop. When I think of collages, I don't tend to think of a lot of like white space or blank spaces, so how I imagine this is having like a very busy collage piece, but having kind of like this background like seeping through, if that makes sense. So. For the background, I decided to recreate the um, cover of Fine Lines by Harry Styles, which is kind of this blue and pink, almost looks like a green screen, so you'll see me kind of painting that in. General rule for collage pieces, things I like to keep in mind when I'm picking out images are the size of the image, the color. Um, different themes. Here I'm also going in, I'm painting kind of like a canyon scene. He has a song called Canyon Moon, so I thought I would kind of make that connection within the background too. Um, you'll see me editing some of the photos that I picked out and edited and decided to include here. So I do kind of some words and lyrics and then I do try to do a theme with colors and I usually add some kind of floral if I can make a connection with it. I do try to connect everything to the songs and the albums he has and I print everything out and I'm going to take some time cutting this stuff up and probably put a movie on. So yeah, cut everything up. Make sure you have a variety of sizes, colors, but try to stick to an old, like an overall theme, just so all of them are like connected in some way. I edit my pictures so they all have the same kind of hue, saturation, filter, color. I don't know why this kind of envisionment came to me. Picture Harry Styles like lying in this little sunflower field when I saw the, the pink image on the right. So I decided to set up a little sunflower field in that corner and then I just laid out the other images. As you can see there's a variety. Some are like him performing, some are his album pictures, and then I just fill in the rest of the background with little fun details. Lay everything out and I take a quick picture that you can see on my phone there on the left and I try and kind of go back in and glue all my pieces down according to my picture. Doesn't always match up perfectly but it's at least an idea to kind of remember and see how all of these images look next to each other and how they look together as a whole.
I usually add all of the little pieces last and I do the larger images and first it kind of just seems to flow that way and then I do details such as glitter at the end too I add glitter to all my pieces because I feel like it ties in everything together really well go in with a coat of Mod Podge which is just a sealer glue to make sure everything is in place and very stuck so yeah and it dries clear so that is about it for my whole process I know it seems like it's a lot of work but it probably took me three-ish hours, I want to say. And yeah, I had so much fun filming this and doing it. It was actually a really nice, relaxing Collage day. Work is a really um, good so. kind of therapy, brainstorm type thing. So I hope you kind of take this and make it your own. And even if it's something like a dream board or what do people call it? Oh, like a vision board. So yeah, make a vision board or a goal board and... I think that's good to visualize your future and stuff so I might actually do maybe another video on that because I've been researching a lot on different like therapeutic art techniques and projects and things so I think that's a really good one and I think a lot of the techniques in this video can be used uh, to make something really cool that you can display on whatever. your wall kind of whatever. as a reminder of some positive goals and future visionaries you have in mind and you can of course put in a custom order with me as well i'd love to work on something with you there's plenty of ways to do that you can literally just comment on this video and i'll reach out to you or i do have my email carlysmiles at gmail.com or you can go right on carlysmiles.com and there is a custom order request page and there's a little form i made it as short as possible to kind of gather any details even if you're kind of worried about your ideas and you're not sure where to go this little questionnaire will really help guide your thoughts ask questions like what artists you're interested in albums lyrics pictures and kind of how you would want everything represented so it might be easier to fill out that form that's an easy way to get all your information to me and um, it will probably move the process along um, a little bit quicker too even though things do happen pretty fast I tell people my, my custom orders are like seven to ten days also just depends on my schedule and what's going on weekly even monthly in my schedule since I'm kind of all over the place and so I... yeah um tease I'm actually doing a Justin Bieber collage piece for the same customer so if I have that done by the time I finish this video I will be sure to include it but yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye